That's a car charger and it's plugged into this, the Peugeot E208. This is the all new Peugeot 208. You can buy it in piston flavor, diesel, petrol, but also full EV. So they've designed it to be compatible with EV all along. Under the seats is a 50 kilowatt hour battery pack. It's 136 horsepower from the 100 kilowatt motor. It's front wheel drive. And it's a conventional looking car, but Peugeot's design language at the moment, I think is really spot on. Come and have a look at it from the side profile here. Eight year warranty up to 100,000 miles on the high voltage stuff. And I'm gonna get in it in a minute when these, these chaps have finished. But I think, come around here, I think it's a really, really good looking car. Some good shapes in it, it's obviously practical. The 208s have been a popular car for many, many years. They've made sure they've designed it so that the electrification process hasn't interrupted the boot space, which it does on a lot of cars. So all the batteries are under the seats and under the center console. So this is as per petrol and diesel models. So I hear you say, what is the range? Well, the WLTP figure on this car is 211 miles. Uh, there are three driving modes, normal, sport, and eco and it has two stages of regen braking so in sport mode it will do 0 to 62 and 8.1 211 miles wltp 136 horsepower 260 newton meters of torque i'm looking forward to this car this is good news for peugeot it's a proper proper electric car that doesn't scream on electric there's some really good details that's shared with the other peugeots the three the three sort of scratches for the drls this grill, which kind of looks like a dot a dash. I don't know what the grill reminds me of. It almost re reminds me of Morse code. Peugeot were talking a lot about My Peugeot, which is an app they've developed um, for a few of their cars. When it comes to the EV, what it's going to be able to do is allow you to um, precondition, uh, turn on, turn off, turn the air con or the heating on and off remotely through your phone. Um, and also be able to stop charging or start charging through your phone. Uh, so it's a bit more of a status report using your smartphone app, which helps. It's not, been, it's, it's not new, but, it's, but it helps. Lots and lots of middle-aged suited men enjoying the faux carbon dashboard and the, uh, the touch screen that you can see there sort of propped the mock iPad, which a lot of these manufacturers seem to love. Peugeot pride themselves on having a small steering wheel as well. They're going in for the small steering wheel because it allegedly makes the car feel better. Okay. So normal home wall box charger like this is eight hours to fully charge. Um, rapid charging capability, uh, zero to 80% in half an hour at 100 kilowatts. It's a pleasant car to be in actually. I'm really pleased for, for, for Peugeot because for a good few years, they've been off the boil design wise, bit average, nothing particularly memorable in their showrooms. Now the 508's looking good, 3008. Um, the 208, um, this is a good car. It's steel, it's front wheel drive, so it's full of convention, but yet actually with half a decent range, probably going to be priced aggressively. Gonna get in the cabin of the E208. Got to adjust the steering wheel because it's not, not really in the right place for me. But this is one of the things that some people find a bit weird about the uh, Peugeots of late. Small steering wheel, intentionally small steering wheel. In fact, it's like octagonal or something. Two, or six, or hexagonal. And that's because it makes you feel like you can, can engage with the car a bit more, but you can also see the dash uh, instruments. This is a really deep tunnel dash. In fact, it's got holes here and here as well. And it's very digital and overlappy and hologram-esque. I quite like it. Then you've got the, uh, the faux tablet here, um, which is telling you the status of the car. And obviously you've got three driving modes, like I said, two regen modes. Got a normal little shifter here does uh, P, R, N and D as per normal, with B for a brake. Oh yeah, you can pull that back. That's quite neat. Yeah, there's your driving modes there. 
This is the sort of e-golf for Peugeot, really. The 208 is smaller than the Golf, it's polo sized, but the idea of that the e-golf is a familiar car that has other engines available, this just happens to be the electrified version. That's what, that's what the E208 is. Pleasant. Oh.